Hello? Alright, well, thank you. I said all that for nothing. Um, my PC decided to update in the middle of my stream. Real cool, you know. Glad it did. I thought OBS was crashing until my entire PC decided to update itself, shut down, turn on, finish the update. So yeah, I mean, there's that. But yeah, we're going to continue on and uh, figure out what the hell's going on. Many of them are there. Uh, it should have did something. It should have did more than what it did. kill this guy over here. Hi, Shion. I'm back, too. Uh, your peripheral vision... I didn't want to kill her like that! Fuck. Yep, I'm fucked. <laughs> it wasn't OBS. It was my computer that decided to be like, hey, we're going to update. Okay. Hi. Right, we're good. Oh, fuck. My side. Where are the tracks? I don't need that. I didn't want to kill that one person like that. I wanted to stealth kill her dumbass. Sorry, puppy. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. You had to go. I don't like killing the pup. Ooh. I don't like killing the puppies, but if I have to, I will. Okay, can we build some shit? Uh, we we can build this. Can't build any of that though. That's that stupid. 
Anyway. Let's uh, mosey on, like they say, I guess. Now I can grab that. Woohoo! I don't know. Put your bottle down. We'll use it later. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Ooh. I'll take all of that, thank you. Well, here's the tracks. Can't get in there. I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Okay. Tracks to the resort. Oh, we're gonna have to kill so many people in this in these bushes. I feel it in my nuggets. I do. You ain't strong like Abby. Yeah, just in case. Anybody? Oh. Do I want to swipe? I think I do. And we'll go ahead and upgrade that so we get that one hit heal. Okay. Um. Yes, this gun, this gun for now. Give me fucking random tape. Bloop. Uh, we're gonna have to go up the ladder. Holy fuck. Saving people that like do their crops and stuff. How do I get in there? It's that, that's what I feel like they're doing. There's a lot of uh, glowy stuff over there. Oh, uh, this. The fuck happened to this guy? It's a Kenzie. I'm out. I'm fine. My husband died picking your fucking tomatoes. We aren't some. Lonely stragglers, I will be back with others. Your time is coming. Well, I don't think she made it that far. Fuck. We can do this though. There we go. We are in the compound to save slash kill Abby. Oh, 
Come on, shush, 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 shush. There we go. There we go. We're gonna pick that up. Got you. Uh, we're gonna keep the one that we just like fortified. Anyone else? Oh, what is she saying now? Hey, buddy. You're the last one, I hope. I'm gonna take those scissors. While we grab him. He is not the last one. Okay. Okay. What is your boss saying now about the damn photo? Baby. Came down, huh? Judy's fucking dead. Hello? Hey, come on, this isn't funny. <laughs> no, it's not funny. <laughs> Your boss is taking this way too fucking, way too serious. Like, you have the pictures of the dog, you have the time slants. Like, what, what the fuck do you want to do? I only got 20, so. It's fucking retarded. Don't stress over it, boo. No need. Already know this shit's gonna be locked. It's locked. There looks to be like some shiny stuff in here. Don't need that bullshit. I know, hon. I'm sorry. You gotta go through that bullshit. Ooh, health. Oh, somebody's playing the radio somewhere. Where that is, I don't know. You would think there would have been more people.
Our bullets are good. Fuck all these assholes. These fucking assholes tied up. What kind of joke is that? Exactly. It's stupid having all of them around like that. Oh, you dumb fuck. Being so fucking high strung. Fucking untamed wolf. <laughs> what was 
use that. Oh, fuck, I have no more arrows. Now I do. There we go. Deal with them than fucking people. <laughs> Look at it go. Start some shit up, baby. Mateo! Oh, they took one out. Oh, they took one out. That's not good. I mean, it's okay. I don't have to deal with it, but still. I hope it did some good work. I mean, I'm picking up its ammo, so. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Stop it. Where'd this motherfucker go? Where'd this fuck go? You give me that? Give me the fucking ammo. Ammo is fun. Give me my scissors. Yeah, yeah. Bitch! 
I can't be seen. There's too many of you motherfuckers. So just go sleep. might be coming down. Oh, oh, baby, why? Fine. I'll do your bean boozled shit. <clears throat> Before we go on. Popcorn or rotten egg? Gross. Buttered popcorn or rotten egg, huh? Do popcorn. It's not popcorn. That's gross. I'm not. Uh, uh, no. <coughs> uh, that, that's not good. That's gross. I love you too, but damn. Move, come on. Yeah, I'll help you. Yes, go look for it. Oh, that taste isn't gonna go away for a fucking while. Baby, why? Ugh. Nothing. Alright. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. The horrible music has ended. I have another bobble. I can turn my flashlight on. I... I fucked this whole house. Like... These people did not think that this girl was gonna run up in their shit and ruin their whole fucking organization. Jenny! Huh? Jenny! Jenny. Sending along some extra beef, grapefruit, and potatoes I just got. They've been imp impressed with how many strays I've captured and wanted to reward me. We're seeing the best crop we've had since we settled here. Please make sure my mom gets fatty cuts. She looked too skinny last time I saw her. Pat. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, that taste is just still there, baby. Why? 
You're supposed to love me, not make me eat rotten egg flavored jelly beans. <laughs> That's like a breach of trust or something. <laughs> So bad. Alright, now what the fuck do I do? The hell's going on here? We're under attack! Come on, let's go! Oh, there's more. There are more. I don't want to go just guns a blazing like. Really can't do that. Come on, come on. stealth my way through this bullshit. find more shotgun bullets. I took more meds. My head hurts too much. Can we go back to playing? Oh, yeah, baby. That, yeah, that scream was... Scream was something. I'm hoping to find more shotgun shells, please. One's better than none, right? Depending how close you are, that's a one-hit kill. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down 
That's probably where they're holding everybody, right? <coughs> I want to finish checking around up here first. Yeah, I could use that. Definitely use the health. Full. Full. Ah, right, let's go downstairs. Oh, God. Foxy about to be a fat little bastard. You are absolutely right, Boo Boo. Let, let's go ahead and save. And we have definitely reload that. That's loaded, that's loaded. We should be good. Fuck. She knows how to barricade shit. I have a really bad feeling about what's going to happen. Try to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. We won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Oh shit. Come on. No. Shut up. Josh, Mike, I'll talk to you later. Where are you? Oh, is this... We're gonna end it. Happy. This feels super endgamey. Where's Lev? Come on, girl. What do you mean, nah, boo? You don't think this is gonna be the end? Fuck. Think I could drag that woman back home? I like how the prisoners are just killing everybody. be Abby. Yeah, 
Maybe not. Oh! I wonder if you'll have to fight alongside her for a minute before you start fight. Maybe. But here she is. Dude, look how much muscle she lost. on look at her she's lost so much weight oh they tied him up there too no she's not dead The fuck? They're both fucked. What if they both die? Oh, what the fuck? I don't know what's gonna happen, Shion. gonna happen she knows we're there to kill her who's gonna throw the first fucking punch though you leave I'm not doing this no. oh fuck hell you know
Let it go. She was there to do something. She she didn't care. Oh wow. She bit two of her fucking fingers off. Holy shit. the farmhouse. Is Dina even going to be there? She's 
she should have never even fucking went. It should have just ended here. This is her farmhouse. Everything's gone. Every fucking thing's gone. Dina left. Ellie did this shit to herself. Everything's fucking gone. This was her life. Like this this is this is where she should have stayed. She should have never even pursued Abby. All for stupid fucking revenge, like all of Ellie's stuff. able to really play It really is her own fault. She should have just left Abby alone. Fuck Tommy. Tommy threw a temper tantrum. Seth under control. Yeah. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. I had some memory. She has all her fingers here. Dean. was just one kiss it doesn't mean anything she just I don't know why she did that that's Joel this is a flashback so stupid I have no 
idea of what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. Yeah, she would. But she fucked that up. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to... I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. <laughs> Somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. This is what Abby took away from her. This is why she went through all that. I'm not crying, you are. Mm. She wanted to try and Abby took it away from her. I, I bet you, like, that's what I feel anyway. I think that's what letting Abby go was. In a weird way, forgiving Abby was forgiving Joel. That, holy shit, that was, uh, that was something. That, uh, yeah. I, I honestly feel that's why that, when she was fighting, when she was fighting Abby there at the end, I don't care why they're pissed. While she was fighting Abby at the end, the last flashback that she got was jo from Joel, of Joel, was him sitting on that porch that we just seen that whole conversation. It was, it was the beginning, that short flashback of Joel was the beginning of Abby trying to forgive Joel. That's what we just seen. 
not Abby, but Ellie. And I think, at least this is how I interpret it, by forgiving Abby, Ellie forgave Joel in some kind of weird way because she's seen Abby trying to take care of Lev. <coughs> I'm just utterly disappointed because it seems like she did forgive her. She took all that time and time on the farmhouse and tell me how to go and bring it all back up. Tommy had to go and bring it all back up. And she was like, oh yeah, I'm still mad at this bitch. I mean, Tommy, Tommy did it because he knew. I think Tommy, Tommy knew that Ellie would go if he brought up any kind of lead or information. He couldn't do it himself. He needed a lackey. And Ellie, you could... You could blatantly tell the girl had PTSD from everything that went on. You know what I mean? I mean, even going back from when she first met Joel, everything that led up to that point. I don't know. I love the game. The game, I think, is great. It's very depressing all the way through, though. Um, it, I don't know. I gotta... I gotta talk to other people about it. I mean, she couldn't bring them back to the farm. Fucking Tommy would have tried to kill Abby. I don't. I don't think that type of forgiveness is there. I I don't think Ellie and Abby are gonna be the best of friends, you know? They're not gonna be girlfriends. Or they're not gonna fucking braid each other's hair or anything. Yeah, Tommy set the second act in motion and it was bullshit and... I agree, I agree. Fuck Tommy. But... I don't think Ellie and Abby are ever going to have any type of relationship other than hate. They still hate each other, I'm sure. Abby took out Ellie's father. Abby killed daddy. And Ellie killed everyone that meant something to Abby. And Abby's trying to fucking... I don't, I don't know. She's trying to take care of Lev, make sure that boy is still alive, but I just, I don't know. Again, in a weird way, I think Ellie letting Abby go is her forgiving Joel. And honestly, it, it was a weird ending. It was a very weird ending. And I don't know. The, the world they live in is fucked. It, it's fucked. But I, I, still, I still say Ellie and Abby are never going to be face to face again. No, I get that. I get that. But here's, here's another thing. That I think what we just seen here. That's it for Ellie. That that was Ellie's story. We're done with Ellie. If they make a part three, it's going to be Abby and Lev. I don't think we are ever going to see Ellie again. I would like to think that she went to Jackson or wherever, you know, the town. I like to think she made amends with Dina. And they could have their own little family there. But I don't think we're going to know unless they do some type of DLC. But I don't think they would do DLC for that. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like when she was trying to protect a kid, I think Ellie saw a bit of 
Joel in her, like, she was trying to save him, like, Joel saved Ellie. I, I think that, I think that's part of it. I really do. But, I, I don't know, this game was, this game is fucked. Like, don't get me wrong, I, like I said, I love the game. Do I like it better than the first one? No. No, I think the first one will always be the better of the two. Because that... That game... That, that was a masterpiece. But this... This was a good game. I don't know. Why would Lev want... Abby and Ellie to be anything. I think I honestly think Ellie's game, Ellie's time in the series is over. I, I really do. I and that that's that's fine. Ellie should have ended in the farmhouse. Tommy had to come and fuck that all up. But. I think we're done with Ellie. In any other game that comes out in The Last of Us, I don't believe Ellie will be in it. I really don't. Um, as far as Abby, Abby goes... Okay, baby. As far as Abby goes, I like Abby. Of course, I didn't like her at first. She killed Joel. But, as you played with her, as you met her and her friends, the interactions they had, her character really grew up. And, it was just... They, they live in a dog-eat-dog -dog world, okay? She did what Ellie set out to do, okay? Abby got her revenge on the man that killed her father. Ellie wanted the same. Abby got it. That, that is it. Like... That's... I don't... I don't really know what else to say. Um... I, I like the game. If I had... The first game uh, is a 10 out of 10 for me. This game was all about revenge. It was all about revenge. That's why the game was so brutal. That's why the game was so brutal. They said... They said that there was not going to be many happy moments in this game. And they were fucking right. It, it was all about revenge and how revenge eats away at you and how it can change you or it, it it changed Ellie like I used to love Ellie a lot more before this whole fucking game but um I think by leaving Abby alive and letting her go that redeemed it for me a little bit but I'm never gonna see Ellie the same and she's never gonna be that little girl from the first game you know that said fuck a lot um, that girl went through some shit. And it was all for revenge, and it changed her. She didn't care who she had to kill to get to Abby. She killed every one of Abby's friends. I mean, Tommy killed a couple too, but, you know. But she killed everyone that got in her way. She killed a pregnant woman. Yeah, it shocked her for a little bit, but... You would think then and there it would have stopped. But as soon as Tommy brought it up again with Abby's location, she left in the middle of the night, left her fucking family. Why? It was over. It didn't matter what Tommy thought. You had a family. You had a... You and your girl had a kid to raise. Now, Abby and Ellie are two kinds of the... Two, two sides of the same coin, for sure. They're both trying to protect people. 
I don't think, I don't really think Ellie was trying to protect anybody. She wasn't even trying to protect herself. She just wanted Abby I'm dead. Just a poor that was it. Wayfaring stranger. And now, through what, what does she have from all of this? She lost two of her fingers. She, she may have lost her family. No toil, what is she just gonna no do? Go back danger. to Jackson and fucking like, live in that little shack that she was living in until she so dies? Like, what, is, what is Ellie gonna do? I'm going there. It's see my she, Ellie. Ellie ruined her she life. Said she it, it was all on Ellie. Me like just I like come. Joel brought it all on himself. That is why he died. He killed Abby's father. Just like Abby brought the fucking savage ass Ellie after her by killing Ellie's dad, her father figure. Ellie, by fucking pursuing her all the way out to California, Ellie effectively killed her own life. What the fuck does Ellie have? Now? We could sit here and be like, yes. We'll I would like to think they made up and kissed and they are got a happy little family. But how plausible is that? You know? Rough and steep, Your girl asked you to stay, to stop all this hatred, and you still just, just before me. Yeah, I guess she had PTSD. Where God's redeemed. I guess she was seeing all these images. That would have faded. Their hopefully. vigils I'm, keep. I'm not 100% sure on that, but. I'm going there. It would have gotten easier over time. To see my father. But again, it was Tommy. I'm going there. No more to roam. Tommy did this to Ellie. I'm just a ghost. Oh, yeah, Doubt we're gonna see anything. But uh, oh wow! Play through the game again with all the upgrades and equipment obtained from the previous playthrough. It changed. Look, that that right there, that that made. That may be, that may prove what I just said. The next game is gonna be Abby and Lev. That was the boat that they took. That is the building where the fireflies are. Abby and Lev went to the fireflies. But either way, guys, that was The Last of Us 2. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. Like you said, she definitely did change. The story progressed by the end. She didn't really care about anything except for her revenge for Joel. And it kind of annoys me because it feels like, to me, like, not even drove would have... Joel would have wanted to kill her. I feel like Joel would have wanted Ellie to be better than he was in... By the end, she could have... She kind of really wasn't. I mean, she she redeemed herself a bit by letting Abby go. But she ruined her... She basically ruined her life. We'll see what happens with the next game, but I think we're done with Ellie. I think Ellie and Joel or that whole thing is done. I think we're going to be Abby and Lev in the next game and... As even if there is a next game. Who knows? But, uh... Uh... The first game, I gave a 10 out of 10. That, that, that game's a masterpiece to me. This is not better than that game. I would give this game, like, a 7 out of 10. 8 out of 10, in between... I, I love this game. There could have been a lot different. Like, it had its story pacing issues, but... All in all, it's a very good game. I, I enjoyed it, but... Again, 
that's me. And uh, we're done with the stream, so thank you for hanging out and all that nifty jazz. I will, uh, I will see y'all in the next one. So, bye bye now. <laughs>